Number 1. Grip must be firm but light. No extra pressure. Do it. Knee to chest position. Number 2. Is cycling. The foot should be moved in a cycling motion. This will reduce the baby's colic pain and the dilation will be correct. Number 3. Is rotation. The baby's hips should be rotated to both sides. By doing this, the child will be able to move independently on both sides in the future. Number 4. Is upper limb exercise. The child's hand should be gently opened and closed. This strengthens the muscles of the child, increases flexibility, and increases the range of moments. Number 5 is diagonals. Bring hands and feet closer to baby. This will make the joints hard. All these exercises will help the child to walk in the future. If you find the video helpful, then please subscribe to get my videos regularly in the future. Thank you.